Hi, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and I am terrified. So, this is the unboxing, actually this is the second unboxing that I really didn't want to do. The first one was the Abflex, which you can uh, watch from the, uh, the card up there. The second one is this one. This is the Miley Home Waxing Kit. Now, for all you lucky people out there uh, that are blessed with additional hair where you don't want it, you're probably used to shaving, plucking, um, picking, doing whatever to get rid of uh, random body hair that you don't need. Now, most people tend to use shavers, razors, things like that. But the slightly more sadistic amongst us use wax. Now, we've all seen it before, haven't we? You've seen the waxes where you heat it up in the microwave and then you uh, scold yourself putting it on with a spatula. And then you get the great delight of putting a piece of cloth over the top and then ripping that sticky mess right off of there and leaving yourself with a red patch and some very unsightly mess all over your uh, possibly private areas. Now this Miley wax kit allegedly is designed so it's virtually pain free. So you put these in your warmer, they liquefy, you put them on your skin and you peel them off and it takes the hair with it. That's a theory. Hard wax beans, hair removal, wax without strip for professional use only. Do I look like a professional? Does she look like a professional? No. Right, natural wax ingredients. It's got uh, rosin, glycerols, ethylene, VA copolymers, beeswax, paraffin, glycerol hydro... There's a lot of stuff in there. Um, directions for use. Place uh, the wax into the wax heater of your choice. Heat the wax into a working temperature with, using a spatula. Uh, spread a layer of film wax to the area to be treated in the direction of the hair growth. Allow for a short period to cool, then holding the skin taut. Remove the wax in a firm action against the direction of the hair growth. Ensure wax is not too hot before applying to skin, which uh, that should be okay because this thing has got a temperature guide on the front, if you can see, um, so you can adjust your temperature to what is suitable for you. We've had a look at the, uh, the mystical hard wax beans, which are actually currently leaking all over the bloody table. Let's have a look, see what we get in the box. Actually, before we open the box, I'm going to try and delay this as long as possible. Uh, let's have a look at the box, see what it says. Right, okay, so it's the Miley Wax uh, Professional Wax Heater. It takes up to 500 ml of uh, wax, beads, balls, whatever you want to call it, uh, for use with body and face. Uh, turning around, we've got uh, heats wax quickly. Well, we're going to be timing that, so we'll find out. Um, lid cover included to prevent contamination. Uh, suitable for all hard, soft, and paraffin waxes. Uh, we have got a hard wax here. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. The heater is suitable for professionals and home use. Great. This heater heats wax fast for a quick and effective application of hair removal, leaving your skin smooth and sleek. Mm. The heater is thermostatically controlled with an on-off power indicator light to maintain ideal wax temperature, giving you total control. Okay, well, I don't think I can turn this around much longer. Box. Okay, inside we've got the uh, Miley Wax Professional Wax Heater, instructions for use and how to take out the uh, the heating pot or jug or whatever. Uh, heating, yeah, whatever, okay. So we've got a lid to, pre to prevent contamination. I remember that from the instructions. We've got a plastic bag, we don't need that. We've got a metal pot. Actually, is it a hat or a bottle? 
No, it's definitely a bowl. Okay, so we've got on here at UK Mainsburg, which is fused and rated at... No, it doesn't actually say. BS1363. Oh. Okay, right. Let's plug this in. How fortunate, there was a plug socket very nearby. Yeah, that's getting warm. Actually, that's off. And it's still warm. I'm so scared for this. Okay, so we're gonna put this thing in here, and ooh la la. Actually, that's a bad idea, because how are you gonna get that bloody handle out when you're burning? Right, let's get our happy beads out. Those are all over the table already. Okay, um, it says it takes 500 mil, but that's measured in, I don't even know what that's measured in. And it's still dropping bits everywhere. Um, that's, a, I guess, a kilo or half a kilo, or grams, three grams, 300 grams. 300 grams sign language is a great thing, thanks Kath. So that's 300 grams. How does 300 grams equate to watery stuff? Right, okay. Let's measure out scientifically. That's enough. Now then. Oh, look at this shit, it's all over the table. Okay. Okay. Oh, better turn it on. Right, let's turn it up to medium, because I'm a pussy. And the time is now, currently, 9.06. So we will uh, pause for a while now, while I summon up some courage and uh, await my, uh, my moment. Be back in a minute. Right, so we're three minutes in so far, well, sorry, four minutes in. Um, we've read the instructions now a little bit more. Good old instructions. And it says to uh, crank it up onto the high heat and when it's actually fully melted, then you can reduce it down to medium to maintain the temperature. So uh, in a moment, we're about four minutes in and probably I would say half, maybe a third of the mixture is melted, so um, it's gonna take quite a long time. Now these particular beads, are uh, hard beads, are apparently, well, blue, um, but also they've been infused with chamomile. So they actually, it smells a bit weird, but it smells kind of nice. And I am actually feeling a little bit sleepy and relaxed already, so maybe that's the idea. They. Uh, Get you all nice and relaxed, ready for that moment of uh, torturous pain, which apparently doesn't happen, which we're still yet to see. So we're gonna carry on letting this melt for a little while and we'll be back very shortly. Right, okay, we're back. Uh, this is Mike, Mike unboxing reviews and how to, and today I'm currently joined with Calf. Have a wait, give us a wave, Calf. Calf doesn't wanna be on camera, but Calf has to be on camera because Mike can't do this by himself because he's a pussy. This stuff's all melted up, it's bubbling away, which is kind of scary. Um, it's blue, it smells funny, but it's gonna take away some hair on my arm. Now, just in the, uh, the kind of complete disclosure here, this is actually the one, two, third take we're doing of this because um, I did it on my left shoulder to try because I didn't want to look a complete dick. Then we did the real thing and did it on this shoulder. As you can see, there's a, a patch missing there, but somebody forgot to turn the microphone on. So uh, this is the third go. Now what we're gonna do is now, you see Calf is smoothing my uh, hairy shoulder, which will no longer be hairy soon. So what we're gonna try and do is, we're gonna try and do a, a patch kind of here, because I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, and probably if you're on a smartphone, maybe not so much, but on a bigger screen, 
you probably see there's a, there's a lot of furry mic going on there and furry mic's got to go. And I did think about doing my back on this one, uh, the old BSC, back sack and crack, but um, I thought that's probably inappropriate. So those might happen in another video in uh, a while's time, but oh gosh, she started. Now it's quite hot. Now I think now after doing this a couple of times, it's actually better to do it hotter and put up with the slight discomfort when it goes on rather than it not being warm enough and being quite uncomfortable when it comes off. So uh, we're going to get some uh, some pretty good coverage right now on the uh, the old hairy shoulder. And we'll probably do a patch. Now it's going with the green, if that's the right word. So the green's going kind of that way, is it? So green's going that way, so we're going to pull that way. So like Mr. Miyagi, wax on, wax off. So I'm just going to wait for that to uh, solidify a little bit. Because you put it on hot, you let it solidify a bit, you peel a little bit up to grab, and then this rip that sucker off. Still a bit gooey at the moment. You can tell when it's uh, solidified a little bit because it loses some of the shine. Below my head. I'm actually sweating a bit. It's nerve-wracking stuff. Are we ready? Is it ready to peel? Okay. Now, if you're a... Probably not so much if you're a woman, but more so for guys out there if you're going to be doing this or you're going to be pushed into doing this, um, I would suggest getting a Jesus, a trimmer or something like that and maybe shortening the length of the hairs because the longer the hairs are, the more this hurts. Now the hairs on my arm there, probably, I don't know, maybe only is maybe a centimeter long at the, um, at the most, but damn, painful. Anyway, so are we ready, Calf? Okay, we're gonna do this now. Uh, oh, I was gonna do a countdown, Jesus. Oh, result. Ow. Go on, carry on. <laughs> oh, it does leave a, li a little residue, which needs to be picked off. So I think if you get used to doing it more and you do it um, thicker, I think thicker is the answer. Do it thicker so it comes off in one piece, otherwise you get little bits left over. And it's pulled off uh, quite a lot of hair there, actually. As you can tell by the slightly reddish mark, but I'll try and get some close-up pictures of this, or maybe not. But anyway, this is the Miley Wax Heater. These have been the Hard Wax Beads. I've been Mike, that's been Calf, and this has been Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope I had the microphone on this time. <laughs>